Astronomers have spotted something profoundly strange in the outer reaches of our solar system. It is moving fast. Far too fast to be native to our cosmic neighbourhood. Remember the name Free Eye Atlas? This celestial visitor quickly earned the rare designation of the third confirmed interstellar object ever discovered after Oumuamua in 2017 and Tuai Borisov in 2019. But unlike its predecessors, Free Eye Atlas carries with it a bizarre set of anomalies. These anomalies have sparked intense scientific debate and even whispers of extraterrestrial origin. Just wait till you hear this. Among those raising eyebrows is the Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, whose provocative thesis about Oumuamua being an alien probe captivated the entire planet. And now Avi Loeb has turned his attention to this new interloper. He suggests that Free Eye Atlas may not be a mindless rock or a comet, but rather something far more deliberate, perhaps even artificial. In his own words, this object may come to save or destroy humanity, Avi Loeb. At first glance, Free Eye Atlas appeared to be a typical long period comet but that impression quickly unravelled. The most puzzling feature of this interstellar object is its tail, which, unlike every known comet, points towards the sun rather than away from it. In standard mainstream cometary physics, solar radiation pressure and the solar wind push the tail away from the sun. The reversal of this orientation implies an entirely different mechanism is at play. Some suggest it may be due to unusual outgassing or sublimation behaviour, but others believe this may hint at a controlled deceleration manoeuvre, an interstellar braking mechanism. And this is not idle speculation that some may believe. If a spacecraft were attempting to slow itself down as it entered a solar system, it would logically orient itself opposite to its direction of travel potentially shedding material or using magnetic sails to create drag against the solar wind. And this is exactly what is happening with Free Eye Atlas. In this context, this object's retrograde tail becomes a possible marker of intelligent design, or at least highly non-natural behaviour. Adding fuel to this theory is the lack of typical cometary emissions. Spectral analysis has, this far, failed to detect the usual water vapour, carbon monoxide or cyanide that accompany active comets. This marks a watershed moment. If it is not outgassing in the way we expect, then what is powering the tail? Another striking detail about this weird object, Free Eye Atlas, is its suspiciously convenient path. After entering the solar system from deep interstellar space, this object is expected to perform a grand cosmic tour, passing near Jupiter, planet Mars, Earth and Venus this year and next. Jupiter is the solar system's gravitational gatekeeper. Jupiter's massive gravity well acts as a deflector or catcher for many inbound objects. If Free Eye Atlas is on a trajectory that passes near Jupiter, possibly even being influenced or decelerated by it, this is curious. It is expected to pass relatively close to both Mars and planet Earth. These are notably two planets where signs of life, either past or present, are most likely. And then it will pass Venus. The inclusion of Venus in its flight path further tightens the orbital coincidence. What are the odds that a random interstellar object would pass so close to four terrestrial planets in our solar system? The odds of that happening are 0.005% probability. This strange alignment has led many to question whether chance alone can explain such a synchronised trajectory. Statistically, the odds of an object entering from interstellar space and then treading such a narrow pass past multiple planets, these odds are extraordinarily low. Could it be scanning, surveying or mapping key points of interest within the inner solar system? Harvard's Avi Loeb 
has been at the forefront of exploring this mystery. His proposed Galileo project aims to analyse interstellar objects for signs of artificiality, examining their reflectiveness, trajectory, thermal emission and spectral properties. And he has even proposed using NASA's Juno spacecraft, which orbits Jupiter, and he wants to use this to intercept and observe Free Eye Atlas during its Jupiter flyby. Avi Loeb does not insist that Free Eye Atlas is alien, but he demands that we treat such anomalies seriously, not just dismiss them because they feel too speculative. And he notes that we send probes to other stars. Why is it so hard to imagine another civilization doing the same thing? In a purely scientific sense, if Free Eye Atlas is an alien artifact, then it could be either a benign observer, a long lost probe designed to map star systems and catalogue life, it could be a messenger, perhaps part of a relay network or communication lattice, or it could be a scout assessing planetary defences and biosignatures in advance of something else. If natural, its strangeness challenges the very boundaries of astrophysics and cometary science. But if it's artificial, then it represents the most profound discovery in human history, that we are not alone and the universe may already be reaching out.